All right. Comms and money reporting for duty. So there are a lot of big name actors that are talking about the strike in popular media, social media, what have you. People who are more likely to be media trained and things like that. But since a lot of the SAG after a contract demand center smaller background actors, smaller actors, up and coming actors, I've noticed the sentiment that there are some people that are struggling to talk about it in a constructive way. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a crash course in speaking for advocacy and storytelling for advocacy. Now I made this little outline a little while ago for my Patreon and I've done videos on it before, but I'm also going to explain it here. So this is storytelling for advocacy. Basically my advocacy centers around a three part structure, starting with the individual story, then going to the systemic impact, and then what can be done to enact hope. That's basically the broad strokes of it. And you can save this if you want. I always want people to start with their individual story or an individual story because most people get to advocacy, get to the movement work through an individual story. This is really where you want to show how the problem manifests in a very personal way. So for instance, Kimiko from Orange is the New Black talked about how people would go from set to their evening jobs, bartending and such, and the strain that it took for them to do both. Next, I have what are the systemic facts behind your story? And between the individual story and this part, I really want you to reflect on how does this individual story branch out into a systemic issue? What are the numbers behind it? What are some of the statistics? Who else does this impact? Examples include the number of striking SAG-AFTRA members who are unable to make the bare minimum to qualify for SAG-AFTRA membership. How many people are kicked off of health insurance every year because they cannot meet that minimum? The number of SAG-AFTRA members that live at or below the poverty line. Those are the numbers that you really want to hammer home here. So again, we're going from the individual story to the systemic impact. Lastly, we're going to bring it all together with enacting hope. This last part is where we ask, what can be done? This is where we put the actions you want people to take part in, the leaders and activists you want the general public to listen to, the books, resources, or materials you want people to read. And a little tip here is don't fret if you don't have all the answers. If you don't have all the specifics, that's where you tap into your community. Point people in the right direction of people who they can listen to that have those answers, who have done that work. I view that as counting as well. I hope all this helps. Good luck out there.